With your first News at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. Well, he's from Chandler, Arizona. He plays college baseball in Sioux Falls, and this summer, he's a big part of the bullpen in Bismarck. Kai Taylor has pitched in more games than anyone else on the Larks roster, and he leads the team in strikeouts. He has 35 Ks with only eight walks. Ben Dacu grabbed the mask and the catcher's mitt for this week's Sports Spotlight. The Larks bring in players from colleges all across the nation. This one here is from Augustana. His name is Kai Taylor. It's really interesting to see the types of the different types of experiences everybody brings to the table. I mean, you have guys that are at big time D1s and then you have guys that are at JUCOs that nobody's ever heard of. And it's really cool to see how everybody's just here for a common goal. We're so concerned with velocity these days, guys don't know how to pitch, you know. I mean, as far as changing speeds, using the breaking ball, actually holding runners, fielding their position, doing all the things that involve being a good pitcher. During his time with the Larks, Kai has asserted himself as a vital piece of the Bismarck bullpen. I can use him to close games in the back of the bullpen. I mean, you know, he's very versatile in that regard. And he's the kind of guy just, you know, like most of the bullpen guys should be, when your name's called, go pitch, and he does it. When Kai gets called to the mound, he brings with him a collection of pitches that includes a fastball, a curve, a slider, and a changeup. I think he's my best guy as far as being the most reliable. A reliever I've got, for sure. I mean, he throws strikes, he works down in the zone, he's got a tight little slider, and he just said, uh, no fear, I love him. I think he should be on the all-star team. The key to having all-star caliber pitches is making them look the same to the hitter. I try to make it as similar as possible to my fastball because it just makes it harder to hit because it looks the same, but, you know, it's all about the grips and kind of just the wrist position, I guess. Curveball is more over the top and you're pulling down, kind of like dropping the hammer and the slider is more kind of like throwing it like a football. Now, excuse me while I put my hand in some ice. With the spotlight on Kai Taylor, for your news leader, I'm Ben Dacu. Well, Taylor and the Larks are in St. Cloud for a double header today. And there was a big rain delay in game one, but it did not cool down the St. Cloud bats. The final was 19 to six. The second game is not that far away. The Big Sticks also have a day night double header. Mankato won the opener in Dickinson. That was six to four. Game two begins at uh, 635 Mountain Time. Well, since April 22nd, the Twins have the best record in the American League. Rain in Chicago last night means they're playing the White Sox twice today and they will have to win game two to get a split. The White Sox took the opener three to one. Brooks Lee, Carlos Correa have homered in game two. That is now in the eighth inning. All right, good luck to them. We'll be right back after this.